Star Wars fans, welcome back to another Vintage Collection action figure review. We're looking at the titular character of the Mandalorian. It is the Mandalorian himself, Mr. Din Djarin, as he is now known. Um, I think he will still be marketed as the Mandalorian for quite a while. Um, because I think that's what he'll still go as, as in the series. So, this is VC-166. Great image there on the card. One of the first ever images we saw of the Mandalorian, so only fitting. And this is a this is a pretty damn good figure, so let's have a closer look. Alright, and here we have the Mando himself, Mr. Mandalorian, Din Djarin. Um this actually came out really well for a three and three quarter inch figure. Um, just super nice sculpt. Everything is is really well done. Um, wish we'd get in a few little different accessories and stuff, much like the Black Series one, to have be able to swap out that pauldron that he replaces in the very first episode would have been great. But that's okay. Um, we'll take what we can get. We're getting full Beskar soon anyway. Um, in the Black Series, at least. Not sure about TVC yet, but uh, we'll we'll get there, I'm sure. Yeah, much like the Vintage Collection one, this just scaled down. Uh, Black, sorry, Black Series one just scaled down. It's a mouthful. It's hard to remember everything these days. Um, looks good. The sculpt, the plastic, soft goods sort of sits nicely. Um, I may sort of glue it in place at some point. Uh, just because it does sort of flop around and looks a little bit funny. If I can just sort of glue it in place on his upper chest there, that would work. Um, the rifle fits better in this one than it did in the Black Series one. Uh, I did have to go through that belt as well, but it does hold a lot tighter and it does actually slot in there very nicely. Um, couldn't get it to do that on the Black Series. It just didn't sit in as much as it should have. Um, but that's okay. I mainly have him holding this thing anyway, so but that's nicely detailed. I like that a lot. New rifle. He also comes with a pistol, which is sitting sitting here in his holster, which sits nicely as well. Helmet looks good. They have done that sort of silly weathering on top. I wish they just kept it a nice clean sort of silver colour all over. That would have been better. But again, he's a little bit weathered. He's a little bit scuffed up. He's been out in the battle on the hunt, getting dirty. So it's fine. Articulation wise, he's got a ball jointed head, ball hinged shoulders, ball hinged elbows, which I will warn you, um, before you get the figure, before you start bending his elbows, these were really tight out of the package. Um, I actually run them under some hot water to get the, get the elbows to bend and even then they're still really tight. Um, so it's just extra bits of plastic in there on the joint where they haven't sort of shaved it off properly. Um, it's just the way they do the joints these days. They just feel a little bit gummy. They don't flex quite so well, but when they do bend, they bend well because you get a good angle like that on it. So just have, some, have a bit of patience, run it under some boiling water just to soften up that plastic, get the joint moving a little bit, and then you should be sweet. Um, that's my little tip. Uh, also has a torso joint. I think I said ball hinged wrists, ball hinged hips, swivel thighs, joint in the knees, which again bends really well. The mold sort of accommodates that nicely. And ball hinged ankles. So there we have Mr. Mandalorian. Pretty nice figure. I like the belt, all the details on it. Bit of scuffing there on his on his old beat up Beskar armor. Dings and dents. Pretty sweet. 
Thanks for watching. I'll be back with another video very soon. Until then, may the force be with you.